everybody, how are you? Um, I thought I would get dressed up, because you know, why not in this current life? And uh, put on a full face of uh, makeup as well. Look at that, look at that glow. And I also painted my nails and moisturized my hands. And I thought I would come on here today and take you through the Great British Sewing Bee book, which it has my name on the front, look, and Caroline's name. Patrick, and that's name. So guys, grab yourself a cup of tea or a snack or both, some cake if you have some, and let's dive in and have a look together. So here it is, isn't it beautiful? Um, it's a beast, just giving you a heads up, it's, it's big. And it comes in this, sorry about the charger guys, I have an iPhone that always dies, so <laughs> I'm gonna be like rigged up for this one. Hopefully it won't get in the way. Um, so yeah, this is a, this is a beast. Uh, this book is out today, which feels amazing. Um, this is very, very surreal. Uh, we started this project oof, almost, almost a year ago, and I can't believe it's finally here. So the book comes in this beautiful box. Can you see the projects here? Hello. And look at the blue. So the book comes in a box, there's no plastic wrap. If you see any plastic wrap on any of these boxes, it's done by whoever's selling them. So please DM me if they're doing that and I'll tell them off. Anyway, so, oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Here is the book in all its glory. And here are your sewing patterns. And they are just like the classic sewing patterns you get in a book, but we're not gonna do a burder to you, I promise. So that's how they look. And they're all in different colors. So they're super easy to trace. I did a tracing experiment myself when Emily, our wonderful book designer, was doing the layout and she has done such a fantastic job. So, oh, there's the collar piece of the Carmody coat. So I'll put this aside for you. So this is what the box looks like. And the whole design idea of this box is that when you trace off your patterns, you can also keep them in here. So put that to the side. Here we go. I'm gonna try and shake as little as possible. Um, I worked out this morning and it's like, it's taken, <laughs> it's, it's hit me hard guys, it's hit me hard. Um, so here is the book, isn't it nice? Oh, hello. This is very weird. This is very, very weird. Um, yeah, th I think this is the biggest secret I've ever had to keep, that it's, it's here and it's out. I'm gonna skip that page because I think there are people in the show. I don't even know who's in the show, so. God, this guy, these guys are more secret than MI5. Right, so the Great British Sewing Bee, sustainable style. So of course, Caroline and I had to author this because we are little sustainable bees. Oh, I love this page. Okay, so I won't take you through every single page because I want there to be something for you to enjoy. But what I thought I would do is take you through the book, talk about my favorite pieces, which I haven't flagged. I probably should have flagged it like Tilly did and give you a few little behind the scenes stories that, you know, aren't inappropriate. <laughs> okay, let's go. So contents, great contents page. So yeah, we have all the patterns broken down here. Oh, hello guys. No, I have not met them yet for anyone who's asking. I will put a Q and A section um, after this. So if you have any questions about the book, please send them in and Caroline and I will do our best to get back to you. Um, Caroline's not gonna do one of these videos because she, <laughs> She doesn't really, not that she doesn't enjoy it, it's not really her forte, she's not really into doing cameras, she's more of a writer, so if you want to send her some questions, she can answer them for you if you send them to me. So, anyway, long story short, here are the patterns, oh my goodness, look at these models, aren't they beautiful? Um, we really wanted a huge array of models, from age to gender, race, body size, everything, and I think we nailed it on the head, guys, I'm so, so happy. Oh, they all look so gorgeous. Um, so here's the introduction and my snake cable. Um, you can read that yourself, but we mentioned the sewing um, community in there as well and sewing on Instagram and stuff. So this is a very current chic book. And here's for the patterns, oh my goodness. Okay, how to use this book. There's Harriet's hand. <laughs> okay, so here's all the classic jargon of how to use this book. We have also added a lot of things about sustainability, sustainable haberdashery in this part. Those are my scissors, and that is Caroline's grandma's um, bobbin thing, and it went missing on the shoe. And I was freaking out, I never told her this. So Caroline, if you're watching, we found it, obviously, but it went missing, and literally the whole team of like seven women were like panicking, and yeah, and they found it, luckily. It's probably my fault, I probably left it somewhere silly knowing me. Um, so yeah, here's some uh, talking about fabrics and 
directions, here's some pattern hacks, some really smart fun ones. Um, overlocking tips, really helpful jargon. We added a lot of juicy insider information in here for you, zips, sizing. This is so useful. I learned some stuff from this as well, which is great. Um, everything from full bust adjustment. This is really fun. Caroline came up with this idea of um, pattern hacking, such as hacking, sorry. I'm gonna slow down talking. Um, this is the first time I've spoken to another human being apart from my family members for several days, so forgive me. Um, this is a really cool uh, section called Slash and Spread where we teach you how to like make voluminous sleeves because who doesn't want a voluminous sleeve these days? Um, fabrics, uh, how to choose fabrics, going about choosing fabrics, what type of fabric should you use for what pattern and your skill and yeah, really insightful and look at this pink, oh my goodness. Uh, these are actually leftover scraps from the uh, outfits made for the book by our sewers. We asked them to send back all the scraps so we could use them. Whole other section of fabrics. Oh, I love this flat lay. This coat is a pattern in the book which I designed. It's called the Carnaby Coat. Oh, it's drool worthy. Sustainable sewing. So this takes you through every single fabric type you can think of that is sustainable. And we break down why it's sustainable and why it may be a good alternative. Uh, sustainable options and how fabrics died and the chemicals and how that could be detrimental things like that I'm so sorry about this cable guys there's <laughs> I'm gonna try and <clears throat> yank the extent yeah this is the situation don't don't look beyond there there's it's very very messy um, my face is put together but my house is not oh buttons so there's loads of sustainable tips here so it's not just what is a zip it's like Sustainability tips on um, alternative to zips. Obviously, there's not many, but things like organic cotton zips. We have a whole section, go away. We have a whole section here on buttons and almost the history of buttons and why we now use plastic buttons and good alternatives to plastic buttons. Um, just some really fun little um, tidbits here and there. Oh my days, I love this page so much. So these are all the projects. So as you can see, that is all the jargon. Um, for you, there's other articles throughout the book. So this is things like um, sewing tips, sustainability tips, and then the rest of the book is pure project and sewing articles and dye tips. We have a dyeing instruction as well. So you're really getting a lot of projects, a lot of things to do. It will really keep you busy. And now that most of us need to stay indoors, this is the perfect time to do some sewing and get crafty if you, if you can. Um, so yeah, here are the projects. There are a mix of patterns from the show. You may recognise this one from season one, not season one, excuse me, episode one of the past season, the wiggle dress. That's actually the pattern from the show, which we picked. Um, and then some of these I designed for the book inspired by the show. And obviously things I wanted in my wardrobe that the production company approved, so that's great. So, oh my goodness, hello baby, isn't she gorgeous? Um, that sounded really creepy, but I was very creepy with all the models in a very positive way. I just couldn't believe how gorgeous they all were. They're like walking photoshopped goddesses. Right, so here's the Pussy Bow blouse. You may recognise this from the last season. And we made it in this beautiful... Go away! I'm so sorry, guys. Um, this beautiful uh, fabric that Caroline picked, because it kind of looks like leopard print, but super graphic. I love this shirt. I really want to make um, a cream one with like a navy piping oh it would just be so pretty so oh these are the instructions so I think they're not tooting my own horn guys but I think they look pretty great they're pretty clear I'm so sorry for the shaking camera you know what I'm just gonna risk it for a biscuit I'm gonna unplug this wish me luck it's unplugged guys oh we're living on the edge um so here are the instructions I think they're pretty clear I'm really proud of this um, yes, I'm tooting my own horn because I am incredibly dyslexic and I want nice, clear sewing instructions for everybody out there. So I think they're pretty great. Oh, the sleep set. I love this. So this is a pattern I designed based on, well, it doesn't say it's based on here. Um, this is a little background design thing, um, based on the Rudeville girls. So they would work out in like these sort of tap pants. And I was like, you know what? Everybody needs <laughs> is a sleep set that looks like a 1940s chorus girl just putting out there oh my goodness yep here's some sewing instructions look how clear these are so we hand drew all of these steps ourselves um with like biro on a notepad and sent them to our illustrator who's absolutely incredible she does have a sewing background and she digitalized them and made them better 
so yeah even the steps we we drew are ourselves so I've actually still got them I might show you one day I don't know whether I, I'm, I'm meant to or not but um it's very hand drawn and yeah it was really fun actually so oh that's so cute and then we have the option of making it into a romper like this with jersey isn't it gorgeous I love this oh this is Chelsea Chelsea babe I literally wanted to be her Chelsea you are amazing if you're watching you're fantastic so most of the patterns have variations which we were very passionate about we really wanted to include that so this sleep set could be turned into a romper which is super super cute oh wrap skirt this one good oh hello oh my goodness she was beautiful wendy one shot wendy we called her literally every photo we took of her she got it she was fantastic chelsea again so you could do a scrap version we have a tutorial there for you bag all sorts of things oh my goodness the summer dress oh hello I made this apron it's a pair of jeans um, that you can cut up and make into an apron so if you have an old pair of jeans hanging around um, time to make this apron which is really really fun and he is very easy on the eyes isn't he yes uh, everybody very much enjoyed his presence on the set oh, the tea dress the summer dress so this dress is inspired by a dress that I wore um, when I went to my university interviews. It's this sort of 1940s style tea dress with smocking. And uh, yeah, I redesigned it and made it better and suitable for the bee. And I think you guys will really like it. Oh my goodness, yes, love this look. And there's actually an option for it to be, oh hello, what's that doing there? Should have used those, shouldn't I? That would have been smart. Oh no, those are really gonna get on your nerves now, aren't they? Let's move those. Um, the top option with long sleeves so that's good so you're getting multiple patterns with multiple uses that is my hand should we recreate it oh well that was quite creepy it's inception um oh pressing ham to make out a scrap so we actually stuffed this with um off cuts from our studio and you know what's really good for stuffing uh pressing hams with is off cuts on overlockers so you know you get those funny little stringy bits they basically act like straw, so keep those. The carnaby coat, oh my goodness. Ah. So this look was inspired by, you know, South London girl goes to uh, Borough, not Borough, the flower market, Columbia Road flower market. That was the kind of aesthetic we went for. Um, but this coat is based on a 1960s coat um, I saw once and I just loved it. And of course the coat, comp the coat section in the bee last season was just to die for so of course we had to use something with a collar so if collars aren't for you you can do it collarless like this <gasps> Ta -da! so chic yes so there's just there's a lot there's a lot in here um oh cropped bomber jacket caroline's gonna make that next so you can do his and hers you can make one for your boy that'll look cute yeah i can see why caroline wanted him in the book Okay, so, oh, this dress, I love this dress. I made this dress for the shoot, actually. Um, we didn't make all the samples. We had a team of very talented sewers um, because we actually physically did not have time to write the book, sew the samples, do the photo shoot. So a lot of work goes into these. I mean, if you look at the acknowledgement section, it's it's huge. Um, it might as well be half the book, <laughs> that many people. So yeah, it's a tablecloth. So this is actually a vintage tablecloth that Caroline owns, the top, and the bottom is linen that belonged to her grandma. Thank God she didn't tell me this when I was sewing it. She gave me permission to use the fabric, of course, but um, she didn't tell me otherwise I would have sweated a lot. Um, but how cute is this? Oh my goodness, I love it. So if you have a vintage tablecloth lying around or you find one in a charity shop, the chicest upcycle project ever. Oh, hello. Yes, oh my goodness. That's made from bamboo, this dress. It moved beautifully. Oh, natural dyes. We have a dye tutorial here for you. You will never guess what we use to dye this top. Any guesses? Avocados. Yep, you heard me right. Avocados. We use avocados. And this is a shirt from, I think we got it on eBay secondhand, and we cut it up and did this tutorial. So it's just a giant boxy man shirt, and you can make it super cute and go to Provence. We weren't in Provence. No, we were in London. <laughs> but the wall looks like Provence. Provence, Provence, I can't pronounce it, I'm so sorry. Um, linen jacket, so there's also patterns for men in here. And this is unisex, so you may recognize this from last season. Such a, oh, um, oh, does that fabric so beautiful and the tortoiseshell buttons. Hello, 
<laughs> so that's the cropped version of a jumpsuit I designed for the book. Oh my goodness, that's my Alice band. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at that. So yes, 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 yes. This is it. Um, you don't have to add the pockets, they're optional. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness, she's absolutely stunning. Uh, all the models are beautiful. I mean, look, look at this. Oh, and it's so comfortable as well. You could definitely wear that on the tube when we can go back on it. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, a dress bag. Again, my hand, hello. Um, I had my nails done for Christmas, so they were still intact, which was great for the shoot. Um, so I could be a harmed model. Um, so yeah, here's a dress bag. Again, made from Caroline's grandma's linen. Thank goodness she didn't tell me because I probably would have cried. Um, again, she let me use it. She wanted me to use it. Um, but yeah, we made and designed this dress bag so you can use old fabrics um, and keep your clothes really beautifully put together. I love this. So Susie, uh, Susie London did these illustrations for us, um, along with a lot of the other illustrations in the book. I think all of them. I need to check the acknowledgements. There's just so many people who worked on this. It's crazy. Um, we have a laundry and dry cleaning guide, which is amaz amazing, including uh, more sustainable options to clean your laundry. And we have a guide of how to get rid of stains from blood, sweat, tears, makeup, my corporate, my corporate, no, not blood, sorry, lipstick. Oh my goodness, I'm not a murderer. Um, lipstick and red wine, grass, yes, coffee, that's me again. Oh, but yes, she, um, so Susie did illustrations of the patterns in the book. So there's the, the pajama set and there's the tea dress top and the wiggle dress, isn't that? Oh, the attention to detail. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, yeah, this is another, I'm gonna say oh my goodness a lot, I'm sorry. This is the first time I've been able to share any of this, of course, because, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, so we've been obviously seeing other people flick through the book <laughs> on Instagram and now we can share, yay! Um, this is the midi dress version of the maxi dress, which is, I'm going through the book backwards, I apologise. But again, this is a classic polka dot viscose, it looks so good. I've already made this dress, it's so easy to make, I love it. Oh, look at the hydrangea print, oh hello! Um, yeah, here's the instructions again, how clear are these? Super lovely, beautifully illustrated, and colour thread. We were adamant about this, so you can see exactly the section that is mentioned in the illustration. So in a way, if you're like me, you can follow the pictures rather than the instructions, unless there's, of course, seam allowances and things that that can alter. So there's the lay plans. Oh my goodness, yes. I'm gonna make this in like a thousand and one million fabrics. Okay, so the straight legged trousers because this, this is a hack of, hello, this pattern, the flares. I mean, they were a classic last season. How could we not put them in the book? What good fun. I think the men in your life will really appreciate you making them. So let's do it. This is a very cool moment. We were kind of like singing the Bee Gees, the Bee Gees, the Bee oh, I can't speak English today. Um, whilst we were doing this shoot with um, this man's called Lee. And of course we put them in a roll neck because why not? And the scrap jacket, I made this for the shoot as well. This is really fun. These are all Caroline's fabrics. And if there are any Swedish viewers, you may recognize some of these prints are very, I think this one and this one, if you look closely, this is very typically Swedish. So it's nice to put a little bit of Sweden in the book for Caroline. Um, and Wendy, again, one shot Wendy, the famous Wendy. I keep seeing her face popping up everywhere and I lose my mind. Um, so yeah, scrap jacket. So you can do different colour fabrics. You can do what I did, which is almost make your own patchwork fabric from scraps and make your own cropped jacket. How funky is this? I love it. Love, 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 love. Very excited. Um, oh, the wiggle dress. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's all here. It's all, it's all here. So the Great Bitter Sewing Bee, Sustainable Style by Alexandra Bruls and Caroline Axelson is available to buy now with all the beautiful patterns. Um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it in your local bookstore. Unfortunately, you can't go in person, um, but you can order it online. So if you go to the link in my bio, there is a special code, not code, it's kind of like a link that will take you to the closest place you can buy it. So rather than just refer you to Amazon, but yeah, here it is. Isn't that amazing? My firstborn. Oh, hello, baby. He is. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you watched the end, I'm incredibly impressed. Um, I'm incredibly excited, in case you couldn't tell from the, the, the regurgitating of sounds. Um, 
I'm going a little loopy. If you want me to complete be, be honest with you, I'm going a little insane. Um, so as soon as I am done here, I'm going to continue making stuff from here. Um, hopefully, no promises, um, if I'm in a, a good frame of mind tomorrow, I might go on to uh, YouTube and film, well, film it, then put it on YouTube, um, my top uh, pattern picks with fabrics. So I have been accumulating some fabrics and I have some fabrics on my stash. I want to finally sew some of these patterns because obviously we sewed a few, but um, I personally didn't get to sew much of the designs during the writing process because it was a beast to work on, I must admit. So for those of you who don't know, when we were writing this book and running um, my business, well, me and Caroline's business, um, I was planning to get married <laughs> and Caroline was growing a baby and the two days, so for example, my wedding day and Caroline's baby day was two weeks apart and Caroline was my maid of honor. So there was a lot to do, a lot of life stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really funny to actually have it in our hands. It was just always like the book, the book, the book. When's the book coming out? And now it's here. Um, which is nuts. So thank you so much to anyone who's stayed to the end. I'm sorry if my camera was shaky. I don't have a tripod right now because I lost the um, the clippy bit. I wanted to do like a really professional, like bird's eye view style, but you know what? We're just gonna work with this. I've ordered a tripod, but the likelihood of it getting here anytime soon is very, very low. Um, but anyway, keep smiling, keep safe. We will all see each other very, very soon. Okay, bye guys.